we go. Mel has invited you all to her house tonight for a barbecue. <laughs> Give a round of applause to Mel for generosity. What have you been up to since the finals? I want to tell you something. Before the finals, before the first audition, Mr. Pibbles and I, in 2013, we left England and we moved to Las Vegas. I spent a year looking for work, nothing, a whole year. I applied for America's Got Talent, didn't hear for a while. I was about to give up, and the day before I went back to England, I get the call. I do the audition, they get all the way to the finals of America's Got Talent, I lost. You know what happened the next day? I flew back to Las Vegas. Mr. Pivels and I, we got our own show at no the Flamingo. Yeah, at the Flamingo of Las Vegas. Mr. Pivels and I have been there to this day, and they just renamed that theater the Piff the Magic Dragon Theater. No <laughs> Ever since I hatched out the egg, I had one dream get my very own show in Las Vegas. Ta-da! It happened, people. It happened. We've got billboards all over Las Vegas. We sold out shows across the country. It was the greatest. He wowed the judges on America's Got Talent. Yes, the Magic Dragon. And this year, we won gold for the best of Las Vegas awards. You know what dragons love? Gold. They love gold. But you know what? Even with all the fame, the fortune, I just can't seem to make Mr. Pill was happy. Look at him. Miserable. I don't know what's wrong with him. It's like something's changed between us. I mean, the way he just sits there and looks at me, like he's thinking, what have you done to us, Piff? What have you done? Since we lost America's Got Talent, Mr. Pibbles has never been the same. Look at me. Just, just look at me, would you just look at me? Go, look, just talk it out. If you just talk it out, you'll feel a lot better. I just don't know how to make it up to him. I mean, how could I possibly? go back in time and somehow win America's Got Talent again. Unless there was some sort of spin-off Champions Edition. Champions, Champions, Champions. Let me tell you, this competition means everything. It's my chance to get back in Mr. Pibble's good books. This time, I'm not here for the gold. I'm not here for the princesses. I'm here to make it rain with little Mr. Piffles. I love this little guy. He's my champion. Aren't you, buddy? God, he just hates me. Dog. He doesn't look like he wants to be here. I can't cheer him up. <laughs> he never got over the loss. <laughs> and you know why? Let me tell you why, guys. Because this dog was born a champion. <laughs> Good luck. Show us why you're a champion. Thanks, guys. It's a pretty amazing story, isn't it? Yeah. I like that. I like that. He was lot. giving up. He was heading home. I know. Heidi! Yes. Join me on stage, yes. ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Heidi! Come over here, Heidi. I've got a lovely little spot for you to hang out in. Stand there, face the front. Perfect, Heidi. Hold it your hands like this. Hands like this. Lovely, Heidi. Does uh, that ring come off? Yes. All right, great. Heidi, you're going to place that ring on this little spoon over here. Where'd you get the ring from, Heidi? You know, something I picked up along the way. You bought it yourself? I did. <laughs> Heidi, Mr. Piffles would like to offer you a complimentary ring cleaning service. Would you like that? I would love it. It's very good. He's been cleaning his own ring for years. Oh, God. <laughs> We've got his favorite little treat over here. Oh, look what we got for you, buddy. Yeah, prime steak. Heidi, we're going to place the uh, food on top of your ring just over there. We're going to mush it in. Mushy, 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 mushy. This is for you, Heidi. That's right, you're going to feed Mr. Piffles. Oh, you take that. Oh Come on. Now, Heidi, Mr. Piffles is going to lick all of the food okay. off of your ring, yep. leaving it as gleaming as the day that you bought it for yourself. There we go. Now, Mr. Piffles is a true professional at this, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, oh, it's look. quite stunning to see how it can return the no, He shine. just ate the whole thing what? just then. He just swallowed the what whole thing. He, he took it all at once. He swallowed the ring. Oh, no. 
OK, uh, Heine, he's doing more of a deep clean. <laughs> all right, Heine, you take this, I'll take this. Here's the deal, we are going to get your ring back at all costs, Heidi. Oh, look what we got for you, buddy. Oh, yum, 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 yum. That's right. Now, Heidi, we just fed Mr. Pibbles a high-strength laxative. <laughs> so any minute now, he's going to go off like the Bellagio fountains. <laughs> OK, you're going to hold Mr. Pibbles out in front oh of you like this. God. Hold Mr. Oh, perfect, perfect. Come on, buddy. Come on, squeeze it out. Come on. He's like a slot machine. Ch -ch here come the cherries. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Oh, I think he's a bit congested, Heidi. On the count of three, give him a squeeze. One, two, three. Oh! Oh, lovely! Good job, buddy. Good job. Heidi, you're gonna... There's no good way to say this, Heidi. You're gonna reach into the bag, Heidi. You're gonna reach into that bag, Heidi. Come on, Heidi, reach into the bag, Heidi. It's an egg! <laughs> Let's walk, Heidi. Let's walk. We're going to go and say hi to Simon. Now, in your hands, Heidi, you have a genuine tiny dragon egg. Is that correct? Yeah. It looks like an egg, it smells like an egg, it even walks like an egg. Stand here, show the egg to Simon. Don't move. No, don't. Don't ruin me. Don't. Don't ruin my life, Heidi. <laughs> Heidi, I'd like to crack the egg into the glass, please. Crack the egg into the glass. Crack, crack, crack. That's it. Very good. Yeah, lovely, Heidi. I'm going to take the shell from you. <laughs> and it vanishes. <laughs> Heidi, you're going to into the yolk. You feel that? Yes. Take it out. Oh, my. Oh, Heidi's ring! <laughs> hey, YouTube, what's happening? Click below to subscribe because there's so much more talent.